Hello, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, an expressionist art studio gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas and an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula available on my Amazon link that is under the link tree that is under show more. So, I have a split cup that I got myself around Christmas and I've done one pour with it. I used too many colors and I have no idea all the possibilities of this thing. So I'm going to do a black canvas and my three section split cup has white, black, and white and it's all made in paint. I'll show you that again. It's all made in paint. And I figured to do some sort of wandering wandering pour. I guess it could be called a ring pour. This mead and black is the blackest black I know of, by the way, and available on my Amazon link, which is also in the link tree, along with this OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, which is the best paint spreading tool I know of, bar none, used by many people and found by me and instituted by me long before pouring became what it is now, which is kind of insane. So, wish me luck. I'm going to wipe off my excess and throw my paddle, my spatula in the bucket. And that doesn't look like much. That doesn't really mean anything because I could always fill it up again. And it might be just the perfect amount too. You can never tell because it's black and white after all. I think filling it up again would be probably not a bad idea. I'll just go over what we've got right now. Which is looking thicker than I knew it was. So let's do that again. Here's my maiden. Which I may have not remembered to put the water in. It's a really good idea to put about 2% water into the maiden paint. I kind of want to use gold in one of these sides. I'm not sure how that would work at this point. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. That is the Mayan gold. That's a prism pour from Color Art. And ask me for the coupon code because I've got a 20% off if you want it. I do remember there was a slight lump in there. I do love black and white and I don't mind it with gold. And I could leave that right like it is and be pretty happy actually. But you know that's not the way this works. Now paint will flow to paint, so assumably wherever I put a dollop of paint, it will pull the paint behind it. That was my theory until that moment. I'm definitely going to have to um, torch. I see all kinds of bubbles. But I'm liking what I'm seeing as far as it's going to be interesting to play with. And there's 
nothing to keep me from just continuing on the... I'm glad there's three of them because they look just like eyes. <laughs> It looks to me like an edge catcher would be a good idea, but it also looks to me like I'd like to have some more black and some more white. And I'm not going to bother trying to clean out my cup of the gold. And I might have to go searching for an edge catcher. See that humongous thing. <laughs> Finally found the thing that I saw go in and now it's going to come out. I know I can get a little bit more out of this. Very cool graphic quality. I don't mind the little bit of gold left behind. And I do use GAC 800 by Golden, which means that I really could leave my paint heavy. Okay, so edge catcher it is. Excuse me while I... And we're actually recording, so if you take that phone call outside, I'd really appreciate it. This is pretty neat. And I don't know how much more tipping it needs. I think it just needs to be left as it is, honestly. But I don't think it's going to hurt it any either. I draw the color down over the edge, there's enough negative space. Excuse me. So I'm loving, I think the, the graphic quality of all of the marks is, <laughs> is amazing. I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. And I'm going to enjoy doing some more experiments with my flip cup. Excuse me, my split cup. I found another thing that doesn't belong in there. You know what, I think for the most part, I'm done. But I have some paint on my edge catcher, and it's really hard to not want to use it. And all I need is a spatula to scrape it up. And add a few dots here and there of my residual color. To sort of make things more cohesive. Not that they really needed it. I don't think a few dots are going to hurt anything unless they look like eyeballs.
and I am inclined to add whatever for no particular reason. that's hurting my feelings at all. Alright, I'm going to call that good and tell you guys I have over 2300 videos and if you have, can't find what you're looking for feel free to ask me. I will be happy to help you. They're organized by topic and genre and I have all the links available to me or you can look for them yourself by going to my channel, my YouTube channel playlists, all playlists, created playlists. I don't know which way is up, but I'll figure it out. It shouldn't be a problem because there was one way that was better than the rest. I'm going to add a little bit of mead and black paint where my fingerprints were. And call it good. I, I'm really, hmm, I could do all kinds of stuff to that to wreck it, but I think that's another painting and not this one. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for keeping my morale boosted. Thank you for watching longer. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching the commercials when you watch them. Uh, thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. And if you are somebody who uses the PayPal icon to make a donation, you'll be automatically entered. You'll be automatically offered the opportunity to become a part of the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing on, at the beginning of the exhibition video that's included on the end screen of this video. I did torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I am really happy with this. This is kind of bizarre and bizarre is cool, especially when it's different than everything else. And there's no doubt that I will be playing with my flip cup many more times than just this. Might have to turn it upside down now and see what comes out. <laughs> I'm just like that. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Make sure to check out my email address if you're interested in purchasing an artwork or inquiring about a lesson at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. It's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. My link tree is below show more. It has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and the gallery's clothing is investment quality made in Montreal. I also have spring clothing below the video. If you can't find what you're looking for and you've identified something that you love on YouTube and it's not where you're looking for it on maybe fineartamericapixels.com, spring clothing, or Legalerist, let me know and I will try and add it to one of those places for you. My Amazon link is on the link tree too and I have two books because I can and unlimited possibilities. This is just really cool. It flew in my boat. Um, not bad for a first try with the black, white, and the gold. What else can I tell you? My community board has tomorrow's video on it. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, scroll down under show more and you'll find it there. And my cell activator recipe is there too, although it wasn't used in this one. It's still pretty darn cool. Thank you guys for being here. Let me see if I can zoom into some of those cool designs. Practice makes perfect, so if you don't like what you get the first time, just keep playing with it. You'll eventually figure out something you like, and that's the thing to use. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.